With Sky Active Technology, Mazda has made breakthrough innovations in different hardware in a car, such as the engine, transmission and the platform. The thing is, none of us ever gave a thought to creating synergy between those hardware to optimize car's total performance and let each car unleash its full potential. Sky Active Technology kick-started a revolution, taking cars to the next level by redefining everything from the engine and transmission to the platform. Mazda is yet again lifting its car's performance to new heights with Sky Active Vehicle Dynamics. Sky Active Vehicle Dynamics is a system for amplifying what we call Jinbai Tai, realizing a sense of connectedness between car and driver like never before. To learn about G-Vectory Control, the first technology evolving from Mazda's Skyactive Vehicle Dynamics, we talked with Daisuke Umetsu, who played a key role in the technology's development process. G-Vectoring Control is a technology that controls engine output based on driver's steering input. The technology enables tyres to better hold the road's surface by optimising the G-force and load on each tyre. So the vehicle's behaviour becomes more stable and precise in all circumstances and conditions. G-Vectory Control connects car's manoeuvres with driver's motions and feelings and delivers a better controlled and harmonised driving experience on the road. How did Mazda come up with G-Vectory Control? Mazda started embracing a human-centred development philosophy when I was working on the development of the third generation Mazda 5. What I mean by that is, we always start with the driver, we visualize what happens to the driver during driving, and understand how a car's behavior is anticipated by the driver. You know, the driver as a human controls the car by operating separate control devices, like the engine, a steering wheel, and a brake pedal. If those units have different characteristics, the driver would not feel at one with his car. So we said, we must make all units work harmoniously in order to deliver a consistent feel to the driver. The next question is, what makes G-Vectoring Control unique? That's a good question, because there are many benefits that I could talk about. Personally, I think that the most amazing thing about G-Vectoring Control is its effect on driving even on a straight road. When you're driving in a straight line, you think that the steering wheel always stays straight. But the reality is you're making subtle adjustments, even without noticing it. G-Vectoring Control ensures that those subtle adjustments don't affect the car's track on a straight road. The steering feels assured, so your natural response is to adjust less. You get a direct feel from the car, a feeling of being at one with your car, so you feel more confident and relaxed behind the wheel. It's not just about the driver, but about everyone in the cabin. To me, the greatest benefit of G-Vectoring Control is that it instills a sense of trust in the car. In the development process, we realized that the technology helped us see the car's full potential, which had yet to be unleashed. Autonomous cars may penetrate the market in the future, but all of us at Mazda will continue to pursue Celebrate Driving by focusing on the human-centric approach. Thanks to G-Venturing Control, everyone at Mazda knows that cars still have room to evolve further.